here and in today's YouTube video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be taking Infinity's Guide to Flower Crown Making! This has been heavily requested by y'all because if you've seen like any of my videos, you'd know that my beans rock some adorable flower crowns. So today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make your very own flower crowns and they are so cute. They're by far my favorite thing to put on my ponies. So why not share the knowledge of how to make them with y'all? So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so for materials to start us out, obviously for a flower crown, you're gonna need flowers. Now I use paper roses that I got off of Amazon. Here's the dealer. This is a pack of pink roses, which I thought was super cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use these. Just a quick add on for these roses. They do come in a bunch of different sizes. I believe these are 20 millimeter. Now you can use 10 millimeter. They look a little small. I just happen to really love how the 20 millimeters look. So that's why I went with this size. You are going to need wire. I use aluminum wire that I get from Hobby Lobby. It's just super bendable. You can use vine wire, but can scratch your models. And I ain't about that life. So I don't really recommend using that. So I just use regular aluminum wire. And then if you really want to make your flower crown spicy, you're going to need some bedazzles. I get these from Hobby Lobby and then some super glue and also tweezers. Obviously you're going to need some scissors and some wire cutters, felt and a ruler, a hot glue gun, and the most obvious one, a helper bean. Today we've got Kicker. I love her. All right, to start us off, we are going to go ahead and grab our aluminum wire and your wire cutters. And then what you're going to need to do is take a long strip of your wire and go ahead and cut it off of the rest of your wire so that you can go ahead and start shaping the crown. I'm going to take one of the ends of the wire and set it behind her ears and then carefully just kind of make a circle around her ears like a little halo. I am going to make this flower crown just a little bit bigger. It's good to give yourself some wiggle room. And then once you've got that, you're gonna go ahead and twist the end piece to the rest of the wire and then just go ahead and make sure that you've got a size that you want before you move on to the next step. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the tail piece all the way around the entire bare wire crown right now, just to give it some extra support. The aluminum wire is very bendy, so I find that when I wrap a piece of it all the way around, it tends to give it a little bit more support. So once you're done with that, you should have something that looks like this. Now you're ready to cut the rest of the wire off and now we're ready to add some flowers. What the heck my cat has decided to join. Now that you have your braided wire crown, now it's time to start adding the flowers. Now that we've got our first flower, we are gonna take our braided wire crown and then just go ahead and lay the flower anywhere on the wire crown right now. It doesn't really matter exactly where you put the first one, but to put these flowers on, I'm gonna try to show y'all this the best that I can. To put these flowers on, you do need to wrap the wire up around the wire crown. So kind of something like that. And then you're gonna take the tail of the flowers wire and then wrap it back through the crown. And then you're gonna come back out on the other side. So you've got both sides covered of the flower with the wire. Hopefully that makes sense. I have no idea, it makes sense to me. But if y'all have questions, leave them in the comment section down below, I'm here to help. And then make sure you pull it tight. Don't pull too tight, the flowers do pop off. Now that you've got your flower on, it should look something like this. You're gonna go ahead and cut off the rest of the flower's wire. Once you've got that cut off, you will notice that the inside of the flower's wire is kind of spiky. And since I will be putting this back on kicker, I don't wanna have her get scratched. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue gun. And this also helps keep the flower in place better too. I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the back of the flower's wire. And then once it's cool, I'm just gonna go ahead and press it down just so that the flower, one, stays in place better and two, is not gonna scratch kicker when I put it back on her. All right, so once you've got one flower on, it is literally the same process for the rest of the flowers. I'll walk y'all through one more and then I'm just gonna do a time lapse of the rest. Now that we've got the first flower on, let's go ahead and move on to the second one. Go ahead and pick out your second flower and then you're literally gonna do the exact exact same thing. So wrap the flowers wire around the wire crown once on the left and then once on the right. Make sure 
that you pull it tight so that flower is nice and secure. Don't pull too tight though. You don't want the wire to come out of the flower. Go ahead and cut the rest of the wire off. And then before you glue this one, you need to make sure that the flowers are close enough together that they're not gonna show any of the base wire crown. But you can tell I'm kind of adjusting them. This is before you glue it. Once you've got it in place, you can go ahead and add the glue so that it won't scratch your model and it won't move. And then as you can tell, there's no gap between the two flowers, so you can't see the wire crown's base. In the end, you're not gonna be able to see the wire crown's base anyway. But now that I've shown y'all how to do two flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and just time lapse the rest because it does take a hot minute to add all of these. flower crown. Look at how cute this is. You can tell that the inside is bare wire and we don't want that because that will scratch your models. What we're going to do now is getting our felt, our ruler, and I totally forgot to tell y'all this, but we're going to need a pen. This is so that we can make the lining of the inside of the flower crown so it cannot scratch or harm your model in any way and to do so you need to find a straight edge on your felt and also this needs to be a half inch wide just go ahead and measure a half inch all the way up I always cut more than I need just in case and then once you've got that marked out go ahead and cut it out so you have a glorious strip of gray felt once you have your felt cut out now we have to glue it to the inside of the flower crown for this step make sure you take note of which side is the back side of your flower crown because that is the side that you want to start the felt on and to do this all you do is put some hot glue on your felt take your flower crown go to the back of the flower crown and then go ahead and put the felt on the inside of the flower crown and press it down so that it does make a nice flush line with the wire and just covers all of the spiky bits and all of the hot glue so as you can tell the hot glue it holds everything down so nicely it's not gonna rip out but now we just need to do that all the way around the flower crown go ahead and just do the same step until you get all the way around so add some glue press it down onto the inside of your flower crown and then repeat until you get to the other end that is already glued down and what I do once I reach the other end is I cut an overlapping piece just so that I don't cut too short and then I glue that down and make sure that everything's flush and as you can tell you can't see any wire you can't see any hot glue that's what you're going for so that you know that you're aren't gonna get scratched by these adorable little flower crowns. All right, Kicker, are you ready to have your new flower crown? Here you go. Oh, this is so cute. She looks so good in pink. Now, if you do wanna make these flower crowns a little bit spicier, you can add bedazzles to them. I happen to love bedazzles. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. To bedazzle your flower crown, you're gonna need the super glue, the bedazzles, and your tweezers. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump the bedazzles out onto my desk. There is literally no rhyme or reason in my life and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up a bedazzle you're gonna put some super glue on the back and then you're gonna press that onto a random place on the flower there's literally no correct way to do this you just put it wherever you think it looks good I'm going to be doing four bedazzles per flower and you literally just stick them wherever you want so I'm gonna time lapse this because it actually takes a very long time to bedazzle these so let's get to it <laughs> I think they look so cute with the bedazzles. Also, it kind of makes it look like the flowers might actually be kind of real and have a little bit of water on them. Wow! All right, Kicker, thank you for being such a supermodel. Look at how cute this flower crown turned out. I'm telling y'all, these are my favorite things to make for my models. I've got so many of my ponies that wear my flower crowns. They are amazing. This turned out 
it's so cute. Also, I think I forgot to like address the fact that my studio is an absolute disaster right now. My B, if y'all didn't know, I'm going to be a tack vendor for Virtual Briar Fest this year, which means that I'm having a huge restock on my website during the Briar Fest weekend. So it's kind of a mess. But what better time to film a little flower crown tutorial than now? So I was too lazy to clean up, but it happens. All right, y'all. So that's actually been the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please go to like button as hard as you possibly can to show this YouTube video your brand new knowledge of how to make some bean flower crowns and kicker for being such a good helper. A little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I post on there daily and I'm super active on there. If you have any questions about how to make a flower crown or where I've got any of my materials, please comment in the comment section down below. Also, if y'all have any interest in buying my flower crowns, just let me know because I don't really know if I want to start selling them or not because I could sell them with like little halter sets. I think that'd be super cute. <laughs> but I don't know because it's also so much fun to be able to make them yourself. So just let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload because I've got some more Infinity's Guide 2 videos coming out soon. If y'all make any flower crowns with this tutorial, please tag me in photos or videos of them. I would love to see y'all's creations. Y'all are literally so creative. It's crazy. Going around on Instagram and YouTube and Amino and Facebook and seeing y'all's creations just makes me so happy. Y'all are just so talented. It's insane. Tag me in some of your creations because that just, that makes me really happy. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! We rise up